We turn now to CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayab. He's been reporting from Israel since soon after the current crisis started. MTS, I wanted to get your sense of the political attitude in Israel now that the ceasefire appears to be holding. John, good to talk to you. I would say that the political mood here in Israel is bitter, it's confrontational, uh, and many of the arrows that are being slung are landing directly on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Political leaders within his own coalition are accusing him, and these are their words, of caving to international pressure, caving to President Biden for this ceasefire. Uh, his own uh, party, people within his own party saying that uh, the fight in Gaza was not complete, that more damage needed to be inflicted on Hamas, and we didn't see that. On the other side, those who say that Mr. Netanyahu had potentially put in jeopardy Israel's relationship with the U.S. and, indeed, with this new administration. Mr. Netanyahu, of course, very close with President Trump. He's known President Biden for a very long time. But Mr. Biden is now president. And the concern was is that uh, this growing calls for a cessation of hostility coming from the U.S. may have fallen on deaf ears, and that could have hurt this relationship. But I do have to point out that, that this relationship is rock solid. Israel's politics are not. So compared to that picture of tussling and acrimony, what does it look like inside the Palestinian political and public mood? Well, we do know that Secretary Blinken is going to be meeting with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on Wednesday. Uh, but the reality is, is that for most Palestinians, they do not see Mr. Abbas as representing them. Uh, and what we've been seeing here in Israel and indeed in the Palestinian territories is something very unique. We saw Jewish and Palestinian citizens of Israel essentially involved in communal fighting that we've not seen for many, many years. It was horrific to see. And since then, in the last few days, uh, Israeli media, Israeli social media, there's been a real campaign to try to bring these communities back together, talking about social cohesion. But while the fabric of Israeli society felt like it was being torn apart during the war, when it comes to Palestinians, whether it's inside of Israel, here in East Jerusalem, in the occupied West Bank, or Gaza, they've been talking about something called Palestinian national unity, something we have not seen for a long time. Fascinating indeed, and we're lucky that we have you there for us, MTS Taib in Jerusalem. Thanks so much.